As we know him today, he was one of the greatest people of his time. He was one of the greatest biologists and he was pretty good at all everything of evolution. Who is this man? Well, today we'll be talking about today we'll be talking about Charles Darwin. All right, we're on live. All right. Hi guys, welcome to a new episode on Dark Shun. Today we will be talking about all of these contents, uh, which is like his early life, first of all, of course, his early life. Early life. Then the, the seasick voyages is HMS Beagle voyage, his origin as the species, and his death. So let's get started. So this band is called Charles Darwin. He's like the super rock star in biology of his time. Rock star. And it's like the rock star of biology, as I said earlier, biology. And he is said, he is said to be, he's said to be the father of modern biology. Father of Modern biology. As he is the father of modern biology, he is the guy who, as I said earlier in the beginning of this episode of evolu of evolution, of uh, evolution. Yeah, this is exactly this is exactly what he was for. This is evolution, and it was all about species changing, which we'll cover later. And now let's get started on this, and let's do, go to the notes. Today we'll be talking about Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin. Yep, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. All right, Charles Darwin. Now... First of all, he had a very, very good childhood. Oh, um, oh, first of all, let's decline this. Oh, sorry, yeah, I got it. Now, this is what he looked like when he was a child. Um, yeah, a child. <laughs> here. This, this guy right here, uh, this, this child right there is Charles Darwin. And this is his sister. And they... Kind of look like boys, if you ask me, but I know this is a sister because, well, look at her. And yeah, let's get back to the notes. Smart select, create notes. Charles Darwin was one of the greatest people of all time. First of all, let's get out. Now, this is Charles Darwin as a kid. He loved his garden. He, he was born into a very rich family. A very rich family, indeed. Very rich. Then he was a he was from Europe, so I should have written some kind of Euro symbol. Yeah. And yeah, well, and vice versa. Um, let's use the stroke eraser instead. Now this is exactly what he had done. He loved nature a lot. He loved nature a lot. He was once asked by his father. He was once asked by his father. As father, to count all the flowers, count all the flowers in the garden, which, by the way, there are a lot. Done. Okay. Uh, these are all the flowers that he had ever gotten, and do you know how much it was? Well, let me tell you, it was. Three hundred and eighty-four flowers. That is a lot for a child to count, don't you think? And now that we got that into trouble, let's get into his literally his school days. Now, in his times, a lot of boys, 
were sent to boarding school instead of like the school that you normally go today. Like go to school and then come back, yeah. That's exactly what we do today. But long ago in Charles' times, he was sent to boarding school. Now boarding school, no, I don't really like boarding school even though I never went to one. He was sent to a boarding school and he did not like it one bit. Yeah, he did not like it one bit. And this and this is what he done. Some nights he would escape from escape from the the house and from the school and then quickly run to his brother's place. Come back before the cl school closed for the night. And yeah, that's literally what I mean. He and his brother had an experiment place. Experiment place. Now these experiments were all on like biology and they had loads and loads of experiments going on. When a teacher found out about the experiments though, the experiments though, when the teacher found out about the experiments, uh, this is the product, it's the green, and then we have blue, blue, and then we have yellow. Huh. Yellow, yeah, yellow yellow and then we mix those colors together yellow first all right yellow and then we get the blue on it actually no no and this is what they got this is what they got and when the teachers found out about it they were calling this thing uh they were calling this thing, no 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 They're calling these things useless use useless they're calling it literally useless and how wrong these teachers were now these teachers might have been like a little unsciencey about everything even though they taught science but still i have to say that all of these aggressors are pretty cool later charles Darwin would have the time of his life first of all he had a lot of things to go on he had a lot of things to do he, he and a few of his other, other fellow classmates were all wanting to be some biologists. Were biologists. Charles wanted to be a biologist also, but his father was like, mm. his father was like, nah, -uh, and he sent Charles to medical school. But he just literally dropped out. Literally dropped out. Then, he went to Cambridge University, Cambridge University, where he was told to be a minister. But then he said, biology, and he literally studied biology. Father was kind of pleased, but not entirely. He and his fellow classmates later, as I said earlier, later went on a trip with their professor, their professor, hmm, to study some marine rocks. So, and some geology, geology of these kind of shades of rocks. And like, woohoo, spring break! And then finally we get to his climax of his life. And this is what he goes on. He, that, this is what happens. First, first, he, he, has, he gets a letter from his teacher, which says this, which says, Hey, bro. Hey, want, want, want to go on a journey, on a journey, actually a cruise, of the world, world, and his answer was literally, yes! And then he went on to his most famous speech. He went on to his famous saying of his life, which is the HMS Beagle. So since today we talked too much about his childhood, we will be continuing on on the next episode of the Seasick Voyage. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next episode. Shin Han out. Peace!